Okay. We learnt from the last one, and we will record once we are in the match. Um, this is a somewhat good hand, but I feel like we can do better. So we'll mulligan. And, yeah, somewhat validated. I think we just Uko, give them four for the scatter mode. And just, yeah, say, come at me. But we might draw something good off the Uko. So, never say never. What are you going to get? No, that's, that's not what I want. So, let us... Scatter mode. Wunderbar. The best thing would be, like, if I can get an XT on the next one, but with some form of Karata in it, that's when it's best. Um, but there's there's been games where I play where I've had Karata in hand, and I've had the XT, and I've been like, I can do all of this. I'm about to get full value. Ooh, starting off. Lack of rookie. Marcus. Okay. Shine grey time. This thing I've been dealing with a lot of shine grey on this sim. Um, it's a pretty good matchup for Belfi. I don't have to stress too much about it. Oh, they did have Ricky. Okay. But just wanted to see more things. Sure. Um, there goes your Marcus Punch. Great. Lovely. Nice. Lovely. Um, catch, please. Okay. Let's hope that we die. We do not die. Classic. What's under the Uko here? It is trash one to draw two. Great, sounds good to me. But this is where you also hit a Marcus. And off first training. Nothing wants to die. Great. Love that for me. Um, and then unfortunately we just have to give our opponent six. Or give our opponent three. When they've got a whole load of trainings. Um, do I want to delete you? Yes, I do, actually. <laughs> okay, so let's do the Ego first. Let's do the Demon Mirror first. Get a lot of draw out of this, which is good. Aster is great. Aster is really, really good. Draw two and trash two. Um, I mean, we see an Uko here. Um, you going. And I don't think Death X is that useful in this matchup. So now we're about to give our opponent more memory. But at the same time, who cares? Um, yeah, so let's see what happens here, shall we? This could be... I could be about to lose to our OTK, giving them this much memory when they have the trainings. We'll put this underneath. Then we will pop the rage mod underneath. This is where I don't have a rage mod in trash, and I just fully forgot, but I swear I put one in there. Which I did. Great. And then if everything goes well here, we're going to see a rage mode. Two, three. We see an XT. XT is great. You can go in trash. Um, question is, should that AT go in trash as well? What have we currently got? Um, we have one AT in there. So I can get both out by doing this. Um, 
Let's keep the five just in case. Actually, no. Let's get let's get rid of you and get rid of you. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have six cards that starve next turn, which is fine. We have a proto for the. Oh, sorry about the police outside. We we could just be about to get absolutely BM'd. But let's find out together. Um six memory is a lot to give to Shine Grey. But the ability to cancel out an attack which I love to do when they have um love to do when they've swung with their markers when they've got the rise grey out already. Cause then it just goes, Oh, you're not gonna proc this. But I mean if they're Shine Grey burst mode they don't care if I freeze things. Okay, yeah, you can digivolve into a Grey Wolf for free. That's fine by me. Um currently don't have the ability to cancel. So do I want to just cancel now? Uh let's say no. Okay, wonderful stuff. Love to hear that sound. Um, not really the best showing of Shine Grey versus, but maybe they were bricked up, and then they just they lost next turn. So, you know, fun and games. Thank you, everyone.